What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some secret modification options for your vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is basically how to mod your cars without a computer and for anybody who doesn't know, there's been a lot of these modded cars going around lately where they have a few removed parts here and there to make the cars look better as well as maybe a few things added. So this glitch basically enables you to do that without having a computer and it does work on a lot of vehicles. Not every vehicle though, so you guys are going to have to go ahead and test what vehicles you can do this on. Now I'm going to be showing you guys three different vehicles you can definitely do this on in the video. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we trust you for something well over 500 likes, that would be awesome. And with that said, let's begin. So starting off with the rat loader, now this glitch does work with several different vehicles, once again you guys are going to have to go ahead and experiment to see which cars this does work on, but the rat loader is one of them and we are going to be completely removing the truck bed from the back and in order to do that what you want to do is bring the rat loader into the Los Santos customs like so, then go down to truck beds in the categories section and as you can see we now have a few select truck beds to choose from so as you can see you have the basic one the basic truck bed with the arches the wooden sided truck bed and the chopped truck bed but none of them are the option to completely remove it now if you guys want to get this secret option or whatever you want to call it what you want to do is simply select any of the truck beds that you are not currently using so as you can see i was using the stock one and now i've chosen the basic one and from there what you want to do is hold down the rt button and then hold down at the same time so as you can see right now it is selecting a load of different truck beds really fast and it will eventually remove the truck bed so as you can see the truck bed has now been removed and once you see that it has been removed what you then want to do is keep pressing a really fast whilst you are still holding down until the stock truck bed gets selected so as you can see if you keep pressing a the stock truck bed will eventually get selected and from there guys what you want to do is simply press a on the stock truck bed once again until it says sorry your vehicle already has this item now from there press b and as you can see i now have the back of the truck bed gone and i can now drive this vehicle around without the truck bed on it and this was actually a modded vehicle in the past so this is basically a nice and cool glitch that you can do to get different weird looking vehicles compared to everybody else's. And now I'm going to show you guys how to mod the Bravado Buffalo. So once again simply bring the vehicle into the Los Santos Customs like so. And the Bravado Buffalo actually has a few options that you can change. One of them is the bumpers, you can completely remove the bumper to make the exhaust stick out. And you can also remove the skirts as well so in order to do this what you want to do is simply go down to bumpers and then as you can see we are now only going to be using the two bumpers at the bottom as that is the rear bumpers and that is the only one we're going to be removing so as you can see right now simply select one of the rear bumpers that you currently do not have equipped and then what you want to do is hold down the rt button and then press up and down at the same time really fast until the bumper gets completely removed so as you can now see the bumper has been completely removed and from there simply press a on the stock one and as you can see now we now have equipped the bumper which is not there it's completely gone and the exhaust now stick out as you can see it makes it more unique and you can show your friends this and they'll be like how the hell have you done that and now we're going to be removing these skirts as well so simply go down to skirts from there what you want to do is simply select one of the skirts that you are currently not using then hold down the rt button and then press up and down really fast until the skirts get completely removed and then from there press A on the stock skirts and there you go that is completely equipped these stock skirts and now there you have it guys I now have the Bravado Buffalo with some exhausts that stick out a lot more so as you can see right now the exhausts are sticking out a lot more than usual because the bumper is not there and we also have completely removed the skirts as well just to make the vehicle look a lot more unique and this is also a current modded vehicle actually that people were modding into the game so the last vehicle i am going to be doing this on is the karen rebel now once again guys there is loads of vehicles you can try this out on make sure you guys experiment and get back to me on what you can actually do this on nevertheless we are going to be removing the bars at the back of the karen rebel as you can see right there and if you want to remove them, simply go ahead and select any other truck bed that you currently don't own. As you can see, none of the truck beds give you the option to completely remove the bars. So simply select any truck bed that you are currently not using, then hold down RT. Then hold down on the D-pad as well until you keep selecting through them until the bars get removed. Now once the bars are removed, keep pressing A whilst you are holding down and RT until you have selected the stock truck bed. 
And then from there, you now have a Karen Rebel with no bars just to make the vehicle look that more unique. And this is how you do it, guys. Once again, go ahead and experiment with different vehicles to make them look a lot more unique online, as these are the current vehicles that are being modded into the game. And you do need a computer for that. So this is basically the way to actually do it without a computer. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, if you do have any problems with this, be sure to drop some comments down below and I will be sure to try to get back to you. Hopefully I did explain things well enough though it was kind of hard to explain so I did try to do three different showcases to explain to you as much as I could. Anyway guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button down below once again can we try shoot for something well over 500 likes that would be awesome. And also if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter you can do that at 2 Dynamic HD. we are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. Anyway with that said I will see you all in the next video.